again previewing the LSU Tigers uh, for the 2011 college football season. I'm Dan Harrelson alongside Nick Taylor, and today we have from Fox 8 in New Orleans, Sean Fazand, to break down the LSU Tigers. How are you guys doing tonight? I'm doing great. Thanks for coming over, Sean. Thanks for having me, guys. Well, it's a crazy night uh, or day, as you could say, in New Orleans, Sean, with the Reggie Bush going to Miami, which uh, makes room for uh, Mark Ingram, former SEC and Alabama Crimson Tide Heisman Trophy winner running back uh, Ingram, to uh, to make some room for that. So what's the buzz about that real fast? Well, I'm sorry, could you, could you say the last part of that question? Uh, Mark Ingram, uh, Mark Ingram, uh, I guess he will be the starting running back for the New Orleans Saints since Reggie Bush is taking his talents to South Beach now. Well, uh, Mark Ingram is a player who, for one, still has to be signed. He's a player that has a unique skill set as a guy, as you guys know, uh, can uh, catch the ball out of the backfield. He can block, he can pass, protect. He can, uh, Coach Saban once called him the fastest 10 yard sprint that he's ever seen. He's a guy who's going to come in. The Saints fans are expecting a lot out of him. Don't know necessarily he's going to have the same exact role as Reggie Bush. As Reggie Bush had a somewhat different skill set. Uh, Mark Ingram will bring a different dimension, I believe, as, as far as a well-rounded running back. Uh, Darren Sproles just signed with the Saints. Uh, I see him more than the Reggie Bush role, but Mark Ingram is expected to contribute. Hopefully, he's not a holdout in camp. I don't see that really being a problem, uh, and he will contribute for the Saints. Uh, hopefully, sooner than later, it's all a matter of how you pick up Sean Payton's offense. It is a complex one, and you cannot be the weak link because they, they, they roll with whoever knows. If you don't know it, you will not be on the field. Well, Sean, one of the things, uh, obviously, as we were talking about going to be SEC media day, is one of the things that was brought up at LSU was uh, the Oregon game coming out of the gate. A lot of reporters, you know, asking Coach Miles to break down Oregon, talking about Oregon, obviously knowing that for LSU to be a national championship uh, contender, the Oregon game obviously is very key uh, coming out of the gate. What's your impressions of that game and just your overall impressions of LSU, particularly uh, on the defensive side of the football? Well, LSU is pretty key. They got it replaced on the defensive side of the ball, but they're ridiculously talented. Obviously, Patrick Peterson, Kelvin Shepard, Drake Nevis are, are all guys they had to replace, uh, but they do have tons of talent behind them. Ryan Baker, uh, Tyron Matthew with a ball hog last year. Those guys, uh, you don't rebuild, you reload, as you guys know in the SEC. Uh, LSU Oregon is going to be one of the most, one of probably the most difficult opening game that LSU has had since back in 02 when Saban uh, had to open up against Virginia Tech. This game is, I mean, there is no, no room for error. This, this is going to be two of the top uh, five teams in the day in college football that, um, you know, it's kind of national title implications right away. Um, I do like LSU's chances because for one reason, uh, as quirky as Les Miles is, Whenever he has time to prepare for an opponent, he always does well. He's 5-1 in bowl games. The only bowl game loss was on that ridiculously sloppy field in Orlando at the Capitol Bundle a couple years back. But he's not only won a lot of his bowl games, he's dominated a lot of his bowl games. So, uh, it, sure, it's a, it's a step up in talent. It's a step up in, uh, in, uh, in opponents. But I, I, I think LSU uh, has enough skill and has enough talent and with the preparation aspect for the last three months been, or last – I guess you could say, uh, preparing for this game, I think LSU can come out on top. I'm not disrespecting Oregon in any way. They have a very talented team. Uh, but I like LSU's chances. But uh, what a way to open the season. I got it. It is. It certainly is. Well, do you think the LSU fan base has kind of uh, simmered down just a little bit towards Nick Saban and at the University of Alabama? Because I think there's, on the Alabama side, a little respect for Les Miles. How do you see that playing out? Uh, I think at this point, LSU fans have, I won't use the word forgive because they're, they're, uh, uh, they're, they're a tough bunch to please, but I, I think they've gotten over it. I think they understand what happened. Uh, 
somewhat weaker conference. Uh, you know, I've always been I've always been a Nebraska fan, and I like the way uh, Bo Pelini, although he goes nuts at times, is weird. He has connections to LSU, obviously, as well, uh, runs that program. So, LSU, Nebraska, that's too crazy. Well, uh, well, how, well how, how, how ironic would it be you had oh, what, oh, 03 LSU, Oklahoma, oh, 07 LSU, Ohio State, and 2011 could be LSU and uh, another O team in Oregon, a rematch from my uh, week one. How about that? Good, very well. Good, good. We had a Mississippi State guy over here tonight pick, uh, pick LSU to win, the, to win the trophy. So LSU is definitely getting some love, and obviously the big question on Alabama will be the, be the two young quarterbacks they have and how they manage that situation. Well, Sean, I appreciate you coming on, Dan. Did you have one last thing for him? No, no, that's it, Sean. Uh, looking for forward to the season. Good luck uh, week one. Hopefully the SEC can uh, bring home another big win for this great uh, conference. Absolutely. Sean, uh, we want to take a wee off the record here as we finish up the interview. Thanks so much for coming on, buddy. No problem. Y'all have a good night, all right? You too, buddy. All right. All right.